pay attention. We're gonna teach you something real special. Real special today. This is two coins. Two coins. Two coins. With my boy Wally. Wally. Then Ronnie. Then Ronnie. Wherever you're at, we're at. Showing two sides of the same coin. Let me know what y'all think. Two coins. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter today. And welcome back to the Two Coin Podcast. It's your boy Ronnie. And I'm Wally, the other side of the coin. Today's episode is brought to you by, once again, Jeezy's Michi Mix, Ooh. Seaside, California. Yes, sir. Which Man. is very fitting because we got Seaside's very own here. Special guest in the building. And I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Stevie C. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Man, we, we, we got to know. I mean, it's crazy. Like, I just found out today that, you know what I mean? This, this is like y'all first time, like, officially oh, yeah. meeting yeah, each other. You know what I yeah. mean? 831 boys, though. Hey, yes, that's sir. crazy, though. Sir. That's crazy. Yeah. But, Such a uh, coast. Yeah, man, so I met you out in San Jose whatnot, you know what I mean? That's how I got to know you. Yeah. That's how we all came in an interaction at the end of the day. Yeah. But, like, you know what I mean? First thing we want to get into is, like, who was Stevie C before Stevie C? Stevie C before Stevie C? Um, well, shit. Stevie C, man, I'm just dude from Seaside. You know, I, I was born and raised here. You feel me? Uh, went to Or Terrace, Martin Luther King, hey, and then Ortiz. ultimately uh, Seaside High. Hey. And then, uh, yeah, man, I went to fucking NPC for a couple of years, you know, fucking did my thing, you know, uh, got the transfer to San Jose State, and then, uh, you know, did my thing there. Um, yeah, man, that's where I met you, over there, posted up at the quad. Uh, <laughs> the quad days, man. Yeah, dude. Uh, I, I don't know what we was doing and shit, but um, I think there's like an open mic or some shit, and like y'all were there, and then, yeah, I don't know, we just linked up somehow, but... Um, Let's even go back to the story and shit. Uh, so Stevie C, man, yeah, dude. Um, you know, I have a Mexican background. You feel me? Um, both of my parents are from Mexico City. Okay, were yeah. you born out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, I was born in Watsonville actually. Okay. <laughs> How far is that from over here? It's like forty it's minutes. It's literally like, a, like yeah, it's right thirty up. minutes up the street. Damn, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. like, you know how you pass through Marina on your way up to San Jose? Yeah. Like you kind of pass through Watsonville a little bit. Damn. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah. You almost hit it. That was just random though, like I don't know something like about the insurance, but you know I grew up like the whole time. Talk a little bit about that. like uh, how you got into music. Music, um, how I got into music. Well, I mean I always kind of been like kind of like doing little freestyles here and there, you know, and like in high school just kind of freestyling with the homies, you know, like while we're chilling, you know. Uh, but um, you know it was until like 2017 when one of my homies he was uh, in Vegas. And then I guess um, he knew a dude who was the producer who just happened to be his son's piano instructor. And then he was like, hey, man, like y'all trying to get on this beat. And it was, um, you know, like a, you know, you know like, kind of like an old school sample, like, uh, nah, 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 nah. it's called Good Stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And then the, um, so he, he uh, shot me the beat. He was like, hey, you want to spit on this? And I was like, all right. And it's funny because he, he kind of already knew that, you know, I was, cool at uh like rapping and shit but i wouldn't really you know think about getting on track or anything so um you know then like after he told me that i was gonna get on he said that he sent it to like five seven heads or some shit you know like and then he was trying to get the like the best ones or whatever and i was like yeah whatever (laughs) but uh yeah man so you know just ever since then um you know you know it was a whole group called seaside organics Okay. You know I mean? And um, you know that you know that is basically like kind of like that's a, a very dope group name, by the way. Seaside. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I ain't gonna yeah. lie, that sounds lucky like y'all gonna have a med shop or something soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, um, you know, some dudes actually. Uh, shout out to Bogey, Mikey, uh, Philly, and shit. Um, they actually started that like a while ago and shit. Like, I think they even got like a photo with like Nate Diaz. You oh, know, shit, you, okay, you, you know, cool. holding you know like Seaside Organic thing. Because Nate Diaz is from. Um, Salinas, Stock- right? I thought he was from uh, Stockton. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting mixed up with. Yeah. Yeah. He's, 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 he's cool dude. Uh, and uh, um, so anyway, yeah, so these dudes and shit, um, you know, they're actually doing, well, one of the dudes, Bogey, he, he was doing the fucking MMA thing with one of my homies out there, Tommy and shit. And uh, Tommy's the dude shot me to be. And then, um, so they kind of incorporated the Seaside Organics brand with that. So, I don't know, kind of started as like kind of like growing trees and shit yeah, like yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? And then I don't know how the, you know, like the music shit got incorporated, but they're like, hey, man, you trying to rap? And I was like, yeah, okay, <laughs> you know, I'm trying okay. to rap. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. And then you, you eventually got into like uh, making beats like after, like, 
like a couple of years into rapping, right? Uh, making beats? Nah, nah, nah. I don't make beats. Um, you know, I just get instrumentals like from Beat Stars or if you know if I have homies who are uh, producers and shit, you know, or my my cousin Chris. Um, but sure? uh, nah, yeah, I don't make beats. But now talk about your influences though, like. Uh, you know, artists that influence, I guess, your your sound and your output? Um, I mean, I don't feel like I have a lot of influences like that, really. Like, you know, I listen to a variety of music, you know, like since growing up, you know, like Bay Area, like Hondra Nicotina, yep. Mac Dre, and shit like that. But, uh, like, I gotta ask one thing, though. Like, you being a Latino artist, you feel me? Yeah. Do you, do you see, like, because I, cause I, was, I was peeping your latest song that you just had, you was dropping the visuals and stuff for oh, yeah, recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't want to butcher the name, so real quick, say save save for our listeners right now, so I ain't butchering that name of that track. The one you just got right now. Oh okay, that's it's called Como la flor. Como la flor. Yeah. Okay. Como la flor. Come on, man, you can't pronounce that, man. Come hey, on. I'm just saying, you feel me? Like I'm not trying. I'm just to kidding. Say, I'm just kidding. Hey, cause I be, <laughs> hey, cause I be going to like fucking taquerias and stuff, and like every time <laughs> I said torta, half the time people be looking at me like crazy. The other half they like, okay, he crying. I'm not gonna you know lie. I mean? Whenever, whenever like I go into a taqueria. <laughs> Or like I want to say something like in Spanish. Yeah. Going, if I roll my mm-hmm. words and shit, yeah, you kind of just go with it. I feel like a fraud almost. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> fuck you doing rolling your arms, yo, motherfucker. Talk, hey, hola. Nah, it's cool that y'all fuck with it though. Yeah, you know, that's what's up. Yeah, but nah, man. So I, I say that to say, like right now, it just seemed like at least oh, at least from out yeah, yeah. being outside of y'all culture, looking in, uh, like my biggest. What what I like, who I see as the biggest artist coming out of fucking, um, you know what I mean, for the Latino community is Bad Bunny and J Balvin. Oh yeah, yeah, for so sure. So yeah. I'm saying since they have like came out, like I've been noticing a lot of like oh, okay. Latino artists. You know what I mean? They be rapping, but they also yeah. be do like incorporating their own culture with it. Do you think like this yeah. like a good time like for a lot of Latino artists coming up? Um. Well, I mean, you know, I feel like any time is a good time, really. You yeah. know, you know, like if you're really about that, you know, like um, I used to listen to like shit. Um, Daddy Yankee, you know, shit like that. Fucking Don Omar, Devo Calderon, um, we seen Yandel. I, I guess I just been out of the fucking loop. <laughs> so that's basically like reggaeton artists reggaeton and shit. Yeah. And, you know, that was like since middle school. Like, I think I used to listen to that prior to rap and shit. You feel me? You well, know, let me I, ask I was you just this. Was, that it, was that big in like American culture as much as oh, it is okay. right now, though? Because um, obviously, I, you being from the culture, it's going to yeah. be around you. But yeah. like as far as you seeing people outside of your culture embracing it and it being this big in America now, you yeah. know what I mean? It's not um, mainstream now. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's you know it's dope. You know, you know, for it to get the recognition like that, and um, you know that hella people fuck with it and shit like that, and you know I do see what you're talking about. Like, like a lot of people are starting to incorporate Spanish and shit. Like you know you see fucking uh, D Smoke and shit. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? Like doing this thing, and then I feel like shout out to D Smoke. Yeah, too. you know shout out D Smoke. Uh, you know, I, you know, I feel like some like Latino artists were like, okay, well, since he's doing that, you know, you know, I could talk Spanish, so you know, I just put it in my raps too, and you know, that's dope because I feel like a lot of people fuck with it, and you know, you know, there's a lot of like Latino, you know, just people in general who you know just love seeing that too. You feel me? Just, yeah, I heard Daddy you know, Yankee was like considered a, a legend in the reggaeton and like most people like bro, only the godfather for, uh, bro for real yeah most people went on for for uh the gasolina track that's the to keep it above yeah. you bro that's the only track yeah yeah i, know of him. I mean I just randomly once i like i started like looking into his like other stuff gasolina, and he has some man. he has some good sounding stuff bro i'll feel it yeah yeah like at that time it was um gasolina rompe um lo que pasó pasó there's like a few but yeah dude He's, He's up there, legend. like it's yeah. probably yeah. one of those. I guarantee, if I hear a couple, would be like, okay, I have heard that before, but you know what I mean. Like he's who Bad Bunny looked up to, yeah. and okay. now he had a song with Bad Bunny Makes sense. called yeah, Vuelver, okay. or something like that, and that shit slap. But yeah, the whole shit with like Bad Bunny coming out, I think that's dope too, dude. Like you know what I mean, like kind of like a new era. You feel me? Like yeah. you know, I feel like that's a whole genre of music that a lot of people aren't even aware of. It's got its own little pocket. And the people that fuck oh. with it, like, really fuck with it. Yeah, probably fuck with it. Yeah. I, mean, I feel a lot of people fuck with it, yeah. you know. Because it does, it does have, like, a lot of hip-hop influence in it, too. Yeah, yeah. And I guess right now there's this whole thing with um, another rapper called La Noel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, a, double A. It was, like, A-A Anuel. Yeah. yeah. yeah and, it, and, like, I guess, like, you know, like... With Meek, actually. He was really about yeah, that. Yeah. You know, like, he was really about that, you know, like, life and shit. Yeah. And, like, he was locked up for a minute. And then he came out and then, like, he kind of popped off, too. And I don't know, I guess he was, like, tripping and shit, like... He's from New York, right? Um, he's from, uh, I think he's from PR, too. Oh, okay. Um, but, um, 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't know, you know, just like trap music in general and shit. Cause yeah. like, kind of like Spanish trap and shit. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then so like Bad Bunny has like Spanish trap music and shit, but like he kind of felt like, what you mean, you know, you know and shit. You feel me? Just came up off music and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. It's kind of like it's, you know, kind of like a beef in that little uh, between the two Spanish of rap, like fucking little media right now. So yeah. like everybody's talking about it and shit. It's kind of funny actually seeing that's bound and to shit. happen though. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Bad, Bad Bunny's won Grammys, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I, honestly, I, I mean, I don't know. I know like, he's up there, bro. He he's got. He's out there, platinum, bro. He's platinum fucking, records at least. You yeah. know what I mean? Bro, I'm you know I'm glad y'all fucking brought him up because he he's in the WWE. Thing right now, like he had his own little uh fight. I, I don't know if it's today or yesterday, but it's like a whole like like a smackdown or something. Oh, shit. bro. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he was out there like as a wrestler. Yeah. That's hella yeah, funny. You know, you know, he has like his own little scenes, like yeah. in the whole show and shit. It's it's hella funny though, cause he was talking about like he always wanted to do that, and it's just dope. I feel like you he's know? just a really good entertainer in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And you know, just kind of tying in that thing, you know, cause that's kind of like. Well, I mean, I guess you have wrestling in Mexico, too, but the WWE, though, you know, it's like an American thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like the big leagues. Wait, 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 I said Mexico, he ain't Mexico. <laughs> 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 PR and shit, you know, they probably have wrestling, too. Hey, I want to ask y'all, because um, what I'm seeing happen with, like, reggaeton now, as far as getting, like, ex- um, being used by other cultures or just being accepted in the mainstream, just music-wise, yeah. it's kind of reminding me of what, like, dance hall and a lot of, like, Afro music was doing over like the past I want to say five years ago up until obviously it's still I'm not Burner Boy shout out the Burner Boy exactly you know what I mean like okay am, am I wrong in seeing that like you know what I mean that similarity coming there's, out there's a parallel there I mean because uh, not as far as maybe nah, yeah, what the music right. goes through but as far as yeah. people now incorporating they're seeing something in those styles the, the thing yeah. with like uh, Afro beats or like Afro fusion in general is that like ever since it got more popular and more mainstream it's almost like developed into like a new genre, like within itself. Damn. Okay. Because okay. there's Afro beats, there's so Afro fun. pop, there's Afro fusion, and then there's this new shit that everybody else is releasing that they don't really, they don't really know what to call it yet. Damn. But it's okay. like a combination of everything. But like, I could definitely see, like, you know, what I mean, reggaeton starting to do that in like five to ten years. Oh yeah, you know for sure, I mean? for sure. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, I don't know if y'all heard a song with Drake and Bad Bunny. You know. Yeah. 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 You know I mean, it was and all over the fucking radio. You, 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 I think Tory. Start kind of like a little, the little thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, but he incorporates that all the time in his music. Actually, yeah. Now that I think about it. And um, but yeah, man, it's cool. It's that feel good dance music. You know, know it's what I mean? Dope, you know, yeah, like, who I mean, doesn't want to dance, bro? You know, you know, it's always been music like that too. You know, you got uh, Sean Paul back in the day. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Sean Paul was that nigga, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, he was the man. He made so much money too. Yeah, and like all the songs were cool. He slaps, you know. He had like Beyonce. And he everybody. had a record with Beyonce. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I gotta ask y'all. So, uh, how big was Baby Bash to y'all, or like yeah. how how high do y'all hold him up? Because I mean, I've heard mixed I, like. I, I, I mean, shout out to Baby Bash. You know, he's dope as fuck. You feel me? I ain't trying to knock him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, I didn't like have his poster up and be like, "Damn, Baby Bash." You feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm I mean, but then again, he was he's only a couple years older than you, though. You know, what I mean? For real? well, not a couple, but like maybe like five to ten years older. Like, oh shit. Um. I might be wrong because he like, he can't be more. He he's probably in his like early forties right now. Um, Actually, now that I say that's like yeah. years older than your ass. Yeah. Yeah. By that definition, LeBron's my age <laughs> range too. I was like, bro, hold on, never bro. mind. Yeah. Hey, Stevie ain't that old, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> he's just thirty two now. I'm fucking with you. Nah, nah, bro, I'm twenty nine. Yeah, bro, I'm twenty nine now. I'm fucking hit thirty. <laughs> I tried to tell her that a forty year old was five years older. Than hey, even if you're forty, you still young. Hey, you is man. You nah, is. I seen this meme that was like, oh. 30s is just in your 20s with money. I love it here. <laughs> I'll fuck with it. No, hey, my coworker was actually telling me the same shit. He's about to be 35, and he's like, bro, like, 30s are way better than your 20s. Like, nah, man, I feel shit. good, too. You feel me? Because he's like, he's like when you're in your 20s, yeah, yeah. you spend your whole time just being scared of your 30s, and then when you hit 30s, you're, like, so well-established at that point. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. Like, you're living, like, your best life in your 30s. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go back to what you said, like, 40, you still young. No, you're not. Paul Pierce, you fucked up. I just had to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Pierce. Hey, that's just wild. Uh, that's just... <laughs> you, can't, you can't be doing so. That was the most washed IG live I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> hey, but fuck it, though. But, you know what I mean? Hey, you doing he's him, straight. Man. I think he got an offer to do like some show, right? 
For I real? mean, bro, Fox might yeah. end up taking him, though. You know what I mean? They always take the ESPN rejects. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Like, oh, you got to kick Fox. out of ESPN? Nah, it was like a show, like kind of like a sports show that, with like, like like strippers pretty much and shit. Kind of like that, more like dancers or something. Oh, place. damn, for real? If that yeah. becomes a real thing, I would laugh my ass off. But hey, <laughs> get the bag, man. I don't think I've seen that shit somewhere. That's crazy, man. Uh, uh. What the fuck are we talking about? But nah, yeah. hey, I'm going to go back to it, though. You being from Monterey, you being from Seaside. I'm from Marina. Oh, okay. Okay, you being from uh, Mar- Marina. <laughs> Let's get that straight. <laughs> He's like, I'm not from Monterey. Yeah, I live here as a Marina. I'm but not nah, nah. Marina. Well, I mean, just like... You know, I moved there when I was 14. Hey, I actually. love Marina, man. Marina yeah. has a lot of diversity. So is it three cities out here in the peninsula? Like three main cities then? Well, okay, you got Marina, you got Seaside, <laughs> you got Monterey, you got Castroville, Watsonville, you got okay, uh, Salinas. I don't know shit about the You got PG, you got Carmel. That's yeah. all like considered Monterey. 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 Monterey County, Monterey Peninsula, Monterey, yeah. whatever. Damn, okay. And then what, would Seaside and Monterey be like the two biggest ones? Stevenson. Can yeah. Get Stevenson. Again, yeah, uh, Pebble Ste- Beach. Stevenson, Pebble okay. Beach. <laughs> we don't count those. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a dub. Is it? <laughs> but no, nah, Seaside is literally five minutes away from Monterey. Okay. They're like yeah. right next to each other. And then Marina's yeah. five minutes away from Seaside. Like what are the bigger, like the biggest cities out here? Well, it's just Monterey, I guess, in general. Cause, Monterey, yeah. Because I guess Sweet. back in the day, it, you know, the whole thing was just Monterey, so they had to split it up, like, I don't okay, know, like okay. in the 30s or 40s. And I guess Seaside was just known as East Monterey. East Monterey? Yeah. For real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's and, so whack. Imagine being called East Monterey still. <laughs> well, I mean, whatever, like, yeah. you know, but I mean, you know, it's the whole peninsula. It's kind of like a whole different, like, a vibe and shit. You know, you got, I mean, like, you know, there's like memes and shit, and it should be hella funny and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, Monterey and like PG Carmel, they got like all the white people. They have okay. Like, Low key, you know. Yeah, yeah, Seaside and Marina, there's like white people are the minority. And Seaside and, and Marina, Seaside, okay. Marina, yeah. And yeah. Salinas, too. In fact, they're like all concentrated here in the city. How far, how far is Salinas from here? Like 30, 35 minutes. Oh, okay. from, yeah. From, from, from here, from, from yeah. Monterey, it's like 30, 35. Is it more minutes. inland? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like okay. a valley. Got you, got you. Because yeah. Salinas is the biggest city in Monterey County. Shout out Salinas. Damn, okay. Yeah. 831. Because they got all the agriculture, all the farming, all that shit is up there in Salinas. Do y'all get like... should be live out there too. Hell yeah. Do y'all get like most of y'all culture obviously like from the Bay or do you see like a mixed incorporation from like even even from SoCal up here? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I would say the Bay mostly. I would say the Bay mostly, but I also yeah. think we kind of have our own identity to a certain extent. Yeah. Style. Yeah. Y'all got some artists from out here that would be known? Um, we have a few that were like almost blew up, but not really. But if I find, if I name some, you're probably not gonna know. Damn. Okay. Like who? I, mean, I don't know. You probably you probably more well, plugged in than I am. I I I mean I ain't gonna say uh like rappers who almost blew but didn't. I mean because I don't really. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, or like know, people you know, that were big in the big in the peninsula. You know what I mean? Like, that when you come out here, it's like everybody knows. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, with like Mac, obviously now, like with the internet and everything, everybody know about Mac Dre to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. But there was a point when you, if you weren't from the Bay, you didn't know about Mac Dre. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Or if you weren't from Northern California, you didn't know about yeah, Mac Dre. Yeah, I mean, Dre. it's harder to, to like do that parallel here because this, this area is so much smaller too, you know? Yeah, okay. but it's different because I, I don't know. Like, I feel like since it's so small, you know, like hello people just, I mean, like, you know, like, don't support each other as much yeah. as, like, they would. You know what I'm saying? If it was... I, I, I don't I know. Got, they got a crabs in a bucket mentality out here? I don't know. You know, I wouldn't say that. You feel me? But it's kind of more just, like, everybody just in their own lane and shit. Yeah. You feel me? And, like, if you make it, then cool. Damn, okay. Like, yeah, but yeah. You, you don't get, like, full-fledged, like, 100% I'm, I'm back any type of support. But I mean, just going back to the question, I mean, I don't know, you know, if there would be somebody from Central Coast who would, you know, be like, oh, yeah, they're, you know, they're from there. I don't yeah, know. yeah. I don't know, really. It's going to be Stevie C. In facts, man. You know, you know, <laughs> it's going to be Stevie C. Yep. Nah, man. Yeah. So, like, uh, you, you you working on something new now? Because I know you would just, and shout out to your last project, bro, like, uh, Mirror Mirror, you know what I mean? You... On that shit, like you, you really wore your heart on your sleeve on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, had, had bro. Had the record did, about yeah. your pops, had the record about your homie and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. But what, what, what's the plan now? Like, uh, cause I seen you've been, you, you've been dropping singles and whatnot, working on like videos, doing your thing with like that. Are you just focused mainly on the singles right now, trying to just get that buzz going? Um, I'm actually working on two projects right now. Okay. Um, one with, with my cousin. His name's Chris Cruz. Shout out to Chris Cruz. He's out on Venice right now. Shout out. But he's out from from out here and shit and. Uh, 
he does most of my mastering and like shit like that and you know i get a few beats from him and that's you know we just dropped como la flor see ya you know it's also on platforms right now and um right now yeah uh so i'm working on one project with him and then it's it's kind of like a spanish vibe type you know it's kind of like its own little you know like we were just having fun you know i went out there for like a week and you know and then you know like that was my goal to just you know you know i told him hey man you just get the week off and shit you know we're gonna be in the stew and then we had like just different vibes and shit so you know we're gonna yeah. drop that it's kind of like a you know like a five six track pack okay you know what i'm saying and then it had this other project who i'm trying to get some heads on you know um probably maybe like another like six seven Hell yeah. uh, track project you know uh hopefully including you Hell you know yeah, man nah, and know the homie uh that. brother wilson shout out brother wilson shout out to brother shout wilson. out brother yeah um and yeah and you know just for now and you know i'm dropping a couple singles too here and there but um yeah dude uh you know i'm excited for that that's what's yeah. up man Hell yeah bro i just got put on your music today and it's, it's dope man i'm fucking with it thank you man you know i'm trying you know you know you know i don't try like to you know sound like anything you know so yeah stay in your own lane yeah, well, I mean, you know, kind of how when, when you ask, like, about, like, influence and shit like that, you yeah. know, like, I don't feel like, you know, I'm trying to rap like anybody. I feel like that's a good thing, though. That's a good thing. If you, you like... You know, but I enjoy, like, hella people's different styles, like, you know, like, I really do, you know, yeah. like, and, like, I don't hate on anybody's style, you feel me? It's like, you know, I try to, like, a, a, absorb it, yeah. you feel me? And then just, you know, you know, it's just dope to see, you know, it's like art, you feel me? Like, yeah, you know, it's yeah, art, yeah. you know, like, how people express themselves and shit, it's pretty dope. And at least knowing your lane, that's like a big thing because too many people these days be trying to like sound like too many people or yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But at least if you being yourself, it'll last longer. And don't get me wrong, you feel me? Like a lot of people, yeah. you know, you know, got bars like, uh, shout out to the homie Miggy. You feel me? Um, Miggy, yeah, that's, the, that's my boy, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, he just fucking dropped uh, Sordium. I think that's what it's called. Uh, and yeah, you know, like, he, you know, like, he got like them like Fast, like, like, he got bars, fucking, man. Like, he's been putting out lines He got bars. Shit, like, he does yeah. rap battles, though. Yeah, There's, like, like rap, rap battles. Like, like, and like, he's the always top, participating. Like, he be spazzing on those. He, he, he's pretty he dope. He can shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He actually so, has a tape called Seaside. You might, you might want to yeah, that. yeah. Okay, yeah you know, and, uh, you know, uh, shout out to me again. Yes, sir. Um, so, yeah, you know, so, you know, like, I would say, like, oh, you know, he kind of sounds like M, kind of like, kind of like Eminem type, or kind of like a logic type, you feel me? He, he was like a huge element. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I, you know, like, I wouldn't say, you know, like, he's trying to copy him. No. You know what I'm saying? You know, because like, he does his own thing. Y'all go to high school with him? Yeah. Nah. I went to high school with him. Yeah? Yeah, he went to Marina High. How, how, is he older than you, younger? No, nah, we were in the same class. Same age? Yeah, we were in the same class. Oh, bro, you know, my yeah, brother. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I knew him from yeah, high school, bro. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Um... Yeah, I don't know if we were talking about the question. <laughs> Just, you know, I mean, like, vocal rap scene, like, yeah. carving your own identity, like, in music, it's important for sure. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, yeah, you know, I just stay in my lane, you know, I'm, you know, I don't really try to do the most, and, but, you know, in terms of music, I ain't trying to step it up, you know, you know, just trying to be more professional about it, you know, in terms of, like, videos and, like, fucking, like, recording and shit like that. Um, yep. Yeah, man. But you know, it's an investment just like anything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know? It's like you, 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 you get out what you put in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of like my approach to everything, too. So, yeah, man, I'm working on it, bro. Yeah. Let the people know where they can find you, man. On uh, social media. Social media, Real Stevie C. Uh, you know, j just how it sounds. Uh, Stevie, uh, S-T-E-V-I-E, -E, and then just the letter C. Sure, um, yeah, yeah. We don't have that Mostly on IG, you know. I'll, you know, I have other accounts, but I don't really fuck with them like that. Um, and yeah, and that's also how you can find me on, you know, Spotify, you know, Apple Music, uh, you know, SoundCloud, uh, Tidal, you know, I fuck with TuneCorn and shit, so, you know, it's all kinds of yeah, shit. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, man, so one thing that we always get, you know what I mean, artists that come on, like, especially when it's their first time, we got to know your top five dead or alive artists. On the spot, I ask question. Top five dead or alive. Top five dead or alive. Damn. Mm -hmm. Like if you was if you can only pick five artists to listen to for the rest of your life. Oh okay, like for myself. Your own top five. five. Yeah. Oh, okay, you go. okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, five on the island. Let's see, for sure gonna need some Bob Marley. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you on an island, you have to listen to some Bob Marley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Gotta keep my mind. Yeah. I've never heard that answer, but that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Can't be mad. Um, might even have kind of like a best, uh, let's see, like, fuck. I don't know why I was thinking about like some like old school like like kind of like that like rockish music you feel like that old school uh you, you know like the fucking Hotel California vibe and shit yeah, yeah. you know kind of yeah, like those type peppers. yeah man cause you ever play the game uh, Rock Band or Guitar Hero <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all yeah. the songs on there used to be fire right? <laughs> yeah <laughs> slaps um nah uh, let me see probably fuck around with some Bad Bunny too I mean shit okay. um, but damn I mean. Man. Tupac and Biggie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, for real, yeah, bro. Yeah, always got to slide that. <laughs> uh, damn, bro. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with some Mac Dre either. You can, yeah, like, best yeah, stuff, yeah. probably, you feel me? And Mac Dre is one of my favorite rappers of all time, bro. I don't, I, I don't know, Slip. man. Stuck on an island, though. That's what I'm saying. And hey, you got Bob Marley, you got Mac Dre, you got Bad Bunny. <laughs> and then you um, said the Hotel California-ish vibes. So yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that could be considered one artist. I just kind of fucking popped off in my head. I don't know why, because I was fucking I, thinking about that vibe. We got you with three. We got you with three. We got you with three. Then that's cool though, because you want to switch it up. Because you can't go wrong with Red Hot Chili Peppers, bro. Like yeah, nigga, get on there. Like, like Nas, Hove, Biggie, <laughs> <laughs> Pac, and uh, Big Daddy Kane. <laughs> uh, let's see. The shit that gets me is when motherfuckers R H B pulling out Rock came out the uh, Rock came out the bag. I already fucked with Cole. You feel me? Cole? Hell yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um. And I'm always saying there you go like that was the right answer yeah that's the one I was looking for <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, um, jokes jokes shit I don't know like, I'm that nigga was somewhere. walking fast as fuck you seen that <laughs> it was good so we got good. Bob Marley J. Cole Bad Bunny Mac Dre and then the fuck I'm gonna throw some snoop in there yeah, snoop I'm gonna throw some snoop yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and I'm gonna throw you one last quick one, bro. What was your favorite? What was your favorite meal from like you know I mean, your culture? Oh yeah. If you could have one meal, what would that be? Bro, um, damn meal. Uh, I was gonna say some tamales, like oh. in terms of food. Who making it? Moms for sure. Mom Dukes yeah. has to be making whatever my last meal is. Wow. <laughs> yeah, look, bro. I don't want nobody mom else touching my last meal. Secret recipe. Just my mom. Yeah. Uh, some pozole, you feel me? Pozole is fire, man. Pozole. I got put on that shit. That shit's having good. <laughs> you feel me? You know, I'm wrong with a little asada and shit. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I actually want to try, like, different cultural food. Yeah. Actually, myself. But, yeah, in terms of, like, Mexican food, man, I think that's the ones. Next time we we out in uh, San Jose, I'll take out a little Ethiopian spot. Yeah. Y'all fuck with it. We'll smack on that. Yeah. 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 Try that shit out. Yeah. yeah. Nah, fuck yeah, man. So we got you trapped on the island. You got Bob Marley. You got J. Cole, Bad Bunny, Mac Dre, Snoop, and you eating tamales, uh, pasoles, carne asada, carne asada. Oh, yeah, yeah, can't be mad, bro. That sound like a cracking ass island. You know? <laughs> and, and, <laughs> Facts. And then you know, island gonna have you know its own. Island gonna be know, a whole cookout. Whole fruits and shit, pineapples, <laughs> coconuts. You gonna have bad bitches everywhere. <laughs> you gonna have whole nine yards, <laughs> man. Shit. Oh, that shit. Hell yeah, bro. Man, we appreciate you coming on, bro. Yes, like, sir. for real. Yeah, appreciate it. Like, you know, felt like it was, uh, it was a long time. And especially for the yeah, fact bro, that, bro, bro. You've, been, you've been following us for a minute. You know what I mean? Showing yeah. you oh, yeah, bro. Support. Definitely I'm appreciate that. Y'all stuff. What's up? Hell yes, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Y'all doing y'all stuff, man. I appreciate good it, man. Shit. appreciate it. We definitely gonna get you back on again. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. when the tapes drop, let you uh, oh, yeah, man. do your thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, y'all can find Stevie on, you know what I mean? All streaming platforms. You feel me? We're gonna have the link in the description. All of that, man. But for now, it's your boy Ronnie, Waleed, and we out. And we out this bitch. Yes, sir.